I'd also like to come out with a CD called Now That's What I Call Diarrhea. It's just a dip. <laughs> My girlfriend and I broke up during quarantine and we still live together because of our release. It's an absolute nightmare. Do you have any advice? Yikes, that's a tough one. Was it a mutual breakup or are the two of you living together like rival gangs in a prison cell? I think my only advice for this one would be A, to sleep with one eye open, just a good safety precaution, and two, take small bites of whatever meal she prepares for you. Just tiny little nibbles. That way you can tell if the poison's setting in. What is the first thing you're supposed to notice about a person? I can't speak for anyone else, but for me, it's the eyes. I always notice the eyes first. Specifically, do they have two of them? If they don't, not a big deal. But if I'm being honest, I always notice whether or not someone has two eyes. One time I was on a bus on my way to Tucson, Arizona, and a guy had two eye patches on, two, crisscrossed, on his face. What the fuck happened there? I think you got Larry Moe and Curly. Boom. Boom. If you could go back in time and give yourself some advice, what would you tell your younger self? One, never let anybody tell you what is cool. You decide what is cool. Like whatever you like, don't let anybody give you any shit. Two, nobody knows what they're doing. Absolutely no one. Not your parents, not the government. We're all just fucking winging it here. And number three, never, and I mean this, never, eat shellfish before a flight. Do you prefer action-packed vacations or relaxing on the beach? The last action-packed vacation I was on, I was the leader of an elite paramilitary rescue team. We encountered a deadly predator, a technologically advanced alien who stalked and hunted us down. Lost some of my best friends that day. Apollo Creed, Jesse the Body Ventura. It was a fucking nightmare. So yeah, the beach for sure. Would you rather work four 10 hour days or five eight hour days? No, next question. How can I bring up my virginity on dates without making it weird? I think you just gotta flop it out there. People are way less judgmental about sexuality these days. So just go for it. Have some fun with it. Here's what I would do. I would go to Benihana and I would start talking about it when they slice up that onion into that volcano. Be like, you know, they used to throw virgins into those. Speaking of virgins. If I adopt an older dog, am I allowed to rename it? Absolutely. The rule is, if you're the one buying the food, you can call him whatever you want. At least that's what my dad told me, and I went by shit weasel until I was 12. I have IBS, and it often causes me to be extremely gassy. I'm embarrassed by it and don't want to fart in front of my new boyfriend, but we spend a lot of time together. Any ideas what to do? Couple options here. I remember when I was younger, I would smoke weed in my buddy's basement, and we would take a bunch of dryer sheets and put them in a toilet paper tube, and then we would blow the smoke through that tube. We called it a zoob tube. Now, I think the same science could apply here for your problem. Just stuff a bunch of dryer sheets around your b-hole. That way he smells mountain rain instead of your musty dumper. I'm also going to drop a CD this summer called Now That's What I Call Diarrhea. It's just a bunch of diarrhea sounds that you can pop in and play for your boyfriend while you're in the bathroom so he has no idea what's going on. He won't be able to differentiate your diarrhea from the diarrhea on the CD. It'll have all the greatest shits on it. The flopper, the squeaker, the pickle bucket, the, <laughs> the cannonball, the fire hose, the diarrhea housewives of Orange County. Yeah, I don't know. I got nothing else. Yeah. All right. <laughs> My girlfriend has been working out a lot, and now she's ripped. I can't help but feel emasculated in some way. What do I do? Well, her body, her choice, my friend. You can either start working out with her, or just get used to the idea of her being the one that opens all the jars in the house. The dick move here would be to dump her, but it sounds like you don't have the strength to carry any of the furniture out of the apartment by yourself. Is it safe to date right now? I mean, was it ever, really? It sounds like there's new variants of COVID all the time. I feel like it's just gonna be like HPV. We're all gonna have it. Just enjoy the party. 
How do men feel about dating widows with teenagers? Can't say I've ever been in this situation, but as long as there's no foul play involved, I don't see it really being an issue. However, if you told me your ex-husband mysteriously died on a fishing trip with your kids, I'm gonna have a few questions. I don't wanna be brought into some house with some Menendez brothers, you know what I mean? What's your favorite camping meal? Easy answer to this one, chili. Always, hands down, chili is the best camping meal. The hard part is finding a Wendy's that's open at 3 a.m. with a broken flashlight after drinking 16 Coors Lights. It's doable though, it's doable. Is it possible to date someone with completely different music tastes? Absolutely, you just have to find some common ground. She likes country, you like hip hop. Perhaps you can explore the Tim McGraw Nelly mashup together. I've been dating my girlfriend for three months and when I met her parents, they asked me what my intentions are and I froze. How do you answer that? People still ask that? What year is it? The 1940s? Next time just hit them with some crazy nonsense. Just be like, well, if all goes well, by this time next year, she'll be the highest ranking member of my cult. Soon after, we'll begin producing a brood for my army of child soldiers. And hopefully, shortly after that, a joint Costco membership. Where's the worst smelling place you've ever been? Worst smelling place I've ever been? A porta potty at Burning Man. Oh my God. We're talking 108 degrees every day, 70,000 people using these porta potties. Being in there was like being trapped inside of a baked potato filled with poo. It was absolutely disgusting. It was so gross, in fact. I remember at one point, I could barely finish my nachos. Does the world really need an advice column written by a man right now? Absolutely not, but here we are. Mm. I'm 5'6", does height really matter to women? If you're not rich, yes. We all have our shortcomings, and money seems to be the great equalizer. Not really sure how the measurements pan out, but I do think for every comma in your bank account, you get a free pass on everything society deems a physical setback. It's gross, but it's true. You could be one giant eyeball like Mike Wazowski in Monsters, Inc., but if you own a private island, you'll never ride a jet ski alone. Now get out there and make that Skrilla, killer. I recently went on a date with a guy and all he wanted to talk about the entire time was how there was a parallel universe. Are guys talking about this regularly? Am I missing something? I mean, are you sure he wasn't on acid? This is the first I'm hearing about this. I guess on the positive, at least he wasn't talking about Bitcoin or the UFC. And a parallel universe might exist. I don't know. I thought I could recall a time when there was a car company called Saturn. I remember seeing them on the roads. I think I even remember being in one at one point. Now I see zero Saturns. Where did they all go? All the Saturns are miraculously gone. Was that a parallel universe? Was that the Mandela effect? Am I on acid right now? Who knows? Everything I've had to deal with in the past year has made my life feel stale. How can I begin to live life to the fullest again while remaining safe? I got you covered on this one. Here's what you do. Go to the supermarket, get a rotisserie chicken, bring it home, get in bed, eat that thing with your bare hands while you watch Conan the Barbarian. The power surge you're gonna receive from this will carry you through any obstacle. Guaranteed. Stamp of approval. If it doesn't work, I'll give you your money back for watching this which is free. Uh-oh, should we be worried that artificial intelligence will eventually take our jobs? Hell yeah, we should be worried. What do you do for a living? Do you add? I got a calculator right here. Beep, boop, 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 boop. You're fucked. We should be worried. We're lazy Americans. My girlfriend has a vibrator that basically does my job now. What we really need to worry about is when they create a robot that can make those foam leaves in your latte with the cream. Every mustachioed queef barista from here to Portland's gonna be out of work. <laughs>